Hello and welcome to tutorial number 2 in the LGC series of the tutorials for the Just Replay device. In this tutorial number 2 I will simply show you how the interface is built and where you can find uh, different information you can that can be useful. So using the mouse here you can see up here the three live inputs. To the left is live input 1, live input 2 and live input 3. Down here I can see the replay input 1, the replay input 2 and the replay input 3. These three are the ones I steer with the jog wheel or the shuttle on my controller simply by moving it. As you can see here I'm now jogging backward and the data is, con is going backward. I can still see up here that my three live inputs are still recording. Whatever I do these will still be recording. So by jogging backwards I have left the live time. By pressing live on the controller I can at any time jump back to the live. I can see that by live being written here and ob obviously noticing that the pictures on the live input and the replay are all the same. By pressing 1, 2 or 3 I can choose which angle is shown in the program out window. This is the program out window and this window shows always what is being right now outputted by the device. The device has one output and this is always what comes out of it. You can up here see if there is any sound. Right now we don't have any sound. This is the left channel and the right channel. The device can take four channels but right now we don't have any sound coming into the device. You would otherwise also see it here on each separate input. Under the program out you have some information that can be valuable during the use of the device. Here is the timecode as well as here. This is the timecode coming into the device and this is a timecode where you are currently working. If I now jog I can see that this timecode works both back and forth together with the jogging. This is a timeline on which I can see what I where I currently am. This will as you will see in the tutorial number four, be useful during the creation of playlists and clips. Here I have a ref. I currently have no ref um, uh, inputted into my device, but if I have a sync signal, a black ref or a tri-sync, this will highlight yellow and be written ref. Here I have the preview mode. When preview mode is engaged by pressing preview on the controller, on the controller a blue light will lit and here this preview mode uh, text will be highlighted as blue as it is now. I now shut go out of the preview mode and now the preview mode is on. This is done by simply pressing the preview button next to the jog wheel on the controller. I can here see when I set a mark in, I can here see when I set a mark out and here for one second a log clip will show when a clip is created. You also see that a, a clip was created by it appearing here on the timeline and by it appearing here on this clip window which I will go into more details in tutorial number four. That is basically all you need to know. So my your three live inputs, your three replay inputs, your program out, some useful information, your timeline and the three highlight playlist windows. The clip window, the playlist window and the active playlist window at the bottom right corner respectively. Okay, that is all for tutorial number two. In tutorial number three I will show you how to create simple instant replays. Thank you.